Hello everyone. Welcome to bimmodeler.com. This is Raj. In this video tutorial, we'll be learning how to create a plumbing fixtures in Revit. We'll be placing a multiple fixtures of plumbings, which is a wash basins for toilets and kitchen sink and urinals and WCs. Let's click plumbing fixtures. If you are a beginner, uh, if you are using the Revit uh, for a couple of times, you must be knowing that after clicking the plumbing fixture, you will be able to have this sink by default in your hand. When you are trying to place these and if you are struggling to place like powering the mouse nearby the wall, it will show something like this. When you are trying to place it, it will be placed, but it will be placed on the wall. You can check this by a section box 3D and you'll be able to see them placed on the wall. You'll be confused at the beginning. Yes, myself, I did that. And otherwise, if you are trying to place them using these different options, for example, place on face, it will be showing in the right positions and you can click them and it will be placed. When you try to select them in the section box and see them in 3D, it will be placed on the floor. You will be trying to move them to change their offset value. You can't do it. You can see an elevation from the level. How to place it properly? So this question has come to me very, very many times actually. So you have to remember the old ways. So these things have to be placed on the floor slab of a kitchen or any slabs or any faces on the elements. Similarly, when you are trying to place them in the rivet, you have three options. You can place them on vertical face, you can place them on face or place them on the word plane. One way is that place them on the plane, which is face of the floor. For that, I'm going to create a floor like this, a rectangular face, like in this place. And you'll be able to see their elevations. We are in the level zero ground floor and we can give the height as 900 meters. So it will come at the height of 900. Select all these three elements, go to the section box and now you'll be able to see that the floor height will be 900 and our elements will be placed on the floor bottom the below ground level 00. We have to place these feature again back to the floor we have created at the top side. Select the element and use pick new and place the required places and now if you see that we have placed exactly on the floor similarly to the other element like this plus the space bar place them perfectly now you can create similar and you can place it directly on the floor ground floor or on the slab that you have created so this is how you'll be able to place the kitchen sink in your canteen or any places that you need it make sure so this is called a face based family once, if you are using the face based family, make sure you have the right face. It may be a wall or it may be a floor slab, which is required to be placed before placing them. The next plumbing fixture that we are going to place is urinal plumbing fixture. Try to search the urinals. We don't have proper urinal in this place. Load the family. Libraries, India, plumbing fixtures. MEP component, pictures, urinal. There are three types of urinal by default in this family. So as a beammodeler.com, we have our component families loaded in our website. You can log in and you can download those families as free. We do have Indian WC also, you can download and use them. We are also uploading a new family series of families for WC and toilet fixtures. 
for you to use it as free you can download them and use it you can give your commands as below wall hang urinal and the wall hang urinal uh, with wing so let me take this wall hang open again we are placing them in the face based family manner but we want to place them in the side wall so go back to the vertical walls and try to place them wherever you need it but in this case i'm going to place it here here and this place we want to make this equally distanced and you can go to the annotation tab dimensions line dimensions take the dimensions like this place the dimension 100 1000 and 1100 you can click the equal button to space them equally and now if i check the gap will be 1050 let me change this to 1000 now each dimensions are accordingly changed you can delete this once it is done okay. we like to have a wc in this place before that we need a wall we can intimate this to the architect or we can temporarily we can place one wall for our interior 900 millimeter wall like this Maybe we can rearrange these, pick new and change the side of those switches to the other wall. So that it will be easy for us to these constraints are still maintaining. Let me change this gap as 1000. In this way, we'll be able to have a WC in this place as full length. Let me go ahead and to the system, let me fixture, load a new family, water closet. Let me load this water closet flush tank. I'm using the space key to place them. This is not the face based family, it's a generic model based family. It will be placed on the ground like this you can make a section box or section view to check the elements are placed properly or not like this select all these three elements use the mirror key to place them onto the other side So that's it for this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next tutorial how to create the sanitary pipes and domestic water supplies to the toilet.